Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can build a search bar in Excel that's going to allow you to return any results that contain a given search term that you enter into your search bar. Let's take a look. So for our search bar, we're just going to use a regular cell. And here I've just got a label so that we know it's a search bar. And then we've also got the cell colored to distinguish it from the others. But otherwise it's a regular cell and we're gonna use this as our search bar to return the list of tasks that match our search criteria. So in order to return the list of tasks, we're gonna use the filter function to do that. But the filter function is going to require a criteria to filter based on. And in order to build that, we're going to use either the find function or the search function so we can use the find function if we want our search term to be case sensitive and the search function if we want our search to be case insensitive. So let's take a look at this. So if we use the find function with our search term and we look for that search term within our list of task names and press enter, then we're gonna get a column of ones now, if we add some text into our search bar here and press enter, then you're gonna see that our find function has a value error when that search term is not in the task name. And we get a one if it finds that search term in our task name like this. So we can convert these value errors and ones into true and false values by using the isNumber function. So if we wrap our find function in the isNumber function, then we get false values when our search term is not in the task name, and we get a true value if our search term is in the task name. And then we can use this with the filter function to return our tasks. So let's use the filter function now on our list of tasks. And the filter criteria is going to be from our is number and find formula. And then we can also return something if no items are found. And when we press enter, we get our list of tasks that contain the word review. Now, because I'm using the find function here, this is case sensitive. So if we change this to a lowercase r, then our filter function doesn't return any results. So if we want this to be case insensitive, we can change this from find to search and now we've got a case insensitive search bar. So that's how you can build a search bar in Excel that returns results whenever the keyword you're searching for is contained in the text. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.